given that the last time we were all summoned together like this was to announce redundancies, I wouldn't be quite so optimistic. Good morning. Thank you all for coming. I'll make it short and sharp. Now, there's a good sign. I do realise this news may come as something of a shock, but given the well-oiled rumour mill at Holby, I doubt very much of a surprise. So, once the amalgamation of cardiothoracics with St. James's is complete, Darwin's staff will be relocated, with a few remaining here to oversee the running of the cardiac trauma unit. Thank you for your attention. Speak of the devil. This is Miss Sahira Shah. She's been heading up the cardiac trauma trial. Hi. Emilio O'Donoghue, Robert Gallagher, William Lynch from the board of St. James's. Mr. Hansen's been singing your praises. Not only is he one of the most gifted surgeons that I've ever known, he's also one of the most respected. A fact that seems to be lost on the management of St. James's. It's my fault how. There has to be a way of achieving trust foundation status without relegating one of our finest consultants to the duties of an F2. What would you suggest? You told me the SHA would be persuaded to keep a cardiothoracic unit at home. I told you it was a possibility, not a certainty. This afternoon, Mr. Hope and I are operating on a patient with an esophageal rupture complicated by severe ITP. I'm beside myself with excitement. You strung me along. You let me encourage everyone to get behind this cardiac trauma trial and in the end made me look like some sort of manipulative Machiavellian bitch. A little melodramatic, don't you think? Um, we'd like to invite the board members of St. James's to observe the procedure. And what good do you think that will achieve? Well, they'll see for themselves what an asset he is. They're on a very tight schedule, tours, meetings. This could be his only chance. Fine, well, I'll have a word, but don't get your hopes up. Thank you. You led me down the garden path. With the sweet smell of continued employment, no? Could you at least wait till I'm on the other side before you do that? You made it look like the only reason I'm staying is because I'm the boss's favoured child. You've achieved solely on your own merits. Well, that's not what everyone thinks. Who cares what everyone thinks? I have already told you I am sick and tired of being thought of as Hanson's girl. This is a hospital, not a school playground. I suggest you grow up. Grow up? Yes. You'll be forever impeded if you don't give up this naive desire to be loved by everyone. Well, you would know that better than anyone, wouldn't you? Yes, I've supported you. Yes, I've kept a watchful eye. And yes, I gave the go-ahead to the trial, in part because I knew it would give you greater job security. And rather than throwing it all back in my face, perhaps a measure of gratitude would be more appropriate. Gratitude? Do you mind? I'm busy. I quit. You'll have my letter of resignation on your desk by the end of the day. The X-ray shows us that your heart and lungs are fine, but there's... Still a lot of blood right here, which means that we'll have to take you back into theatre to get rid of it. Nothing to worry about, mate. Just a patch-up job. You know, right? More or less. How'd it happen? Kite mare. Kite mare? I was doing a backspin loop. Wind caught the sail and sent me flying onto a fence post on the beach. How long before emergency services arrived? We were on the scene within 12 minutes. We sutured the worst of the arterial bleeding on site and then brought him back to cardiac trauma. Impressive. Are you sure there's no one we can contact for you? No. Your parents, maybe? We don't have any. I tell you what, I'm going to have a gifted surgeon take a look at that for you. Dr. Valentine, we have an emergency procedure. There's a tear in the superior aspect, I suggest. Proline interrupted stitches. Careful with that. Sick, isn't it? Oh. So I'm a seamstress now, am I? Seamster? Don't knock it. Could be your next job. Right, I think we've seen enough here. Good luck. If you're here to change my mind, don't bother. I wouldn't dream of it. I've had a look at the call-out notes for your patient. Exemplary job, if I may say so. I've made a few suggestions for improvements, notes in the margins. Well, hopefully they'll prove useful to your successor. Well, surely you didn't think that just because you're abandoning the cardiac trauma trial, I would let it go to waste? Of course not. In fact, I've already put in a request for cover from St. James's. No, this is for me, I believe. My letter of resignation. Thank you. Pack 
it. I can't see a thing. We've got to get on top of this. Good. Looks like a tear to the liver. Why wasn't this picked up on the CT scan? It was too small and the, uh, the warfarin just made it worse. Put your hand there for me. Push hard. Clips and more suction. Diathermia. Quarterizing the tear. Two of Vicro, if you would. We're stabilizing. Right, I believe Miss Naylor and I can continue from here. What? Two consultants is more than enough to deal with this patient from now on, wouldn't you agree? He's my patient. Our patient. Precisely. I'm sure you'll find some work to be getting on with somewhere while we finish up here. Oh, by the way, St. James has got back to me. They've got a CT registrar with cardiac trauma experience who's very keen on a transfer to Holby, so... Looks like everything will work out quite well. Is for some reason you're hovering outside my office like a nervous young schoolgirl? Look, I've thought a lot today about the decision I made this morning. Mm. And you've come to understand that it was a reckless, impulsive action and you would like to keep your job. Something like that. I'm sorry, I thought I made myself clear the position is filled. Now, may I enter or are you going to play the door game again? Is this some sort of test or punishment? No, it's not a prank, it's real life. Don't you like it? Look, I understand that you must feel offended. Something to do with my personal feelings? Really? No, but you explain to me, Miss Shah. Why should I keep on a member of staff who finds her position so disposable, so inconsequential, that she's prepared to throw it away at a moment's notice? And in the process, abandon the cardiac trauma trial that she started? Or well, maybe you shouldn't. So, that's that then. We agreed from the start that you wouldn't show me favouritism. But you have, and I admit there have been times when I've been grateful for it. Took advantage, even. What's your point? My point is that I'm not the only one to blame here. <laughs> All right, what do you suggest we do? I think that we should draw a line under this and move on. Forget it ever happened? No. But make sure it never happens again. Right. I'll put a call into St. James's, cancel the transfer. Thank you. Is there something else? Well, it's just that um, it's, it's getting late, and you said that St. James's were already arranging. Um, You never made that call in the first place. Good night, Miss Shah. See you tomorrow. <laughs>